Hello, hope you're doing excellent. So today we have another unboxing. This is probably the biggest and heaviest one I've done so far. Um, it's really awesome because it's coming from many materials. I'm excited about this one because early in my fingerboard game, I didn't only order from Teak Tuning, but I also ordered from many materials. I have things from them such as their Jersey Barrier, as well as their Concrete Bench, and a whole bunch of wood pallets and plywood on top as like a manual pad. I also use their concrete fire hydrant and I've also used their red bricks at, for a DIY I've done in the past. So it's pretty cool, um, you know, Mini Materials reached out to me to do an unboxing of their new concrete fingerboard DIY park. So I'm really excited, a little nervous, I don't know how much is in this box but it feels pretty heavy. So I'm excited to share with you guys what's in here and to see what we can make out of this DIY concrete park. Alright, let's get into the unboxing. So immediately right out the box you have their business card as well as their discount code that comes with it. Every purchase you make comes with these cards. Immediately I was really impressed with the fact that everything was packaged individually to secure that everything wouldn't get broken on the way to the customer. First thing out of the box is the mortar, which is a type of material that you would use to get the concrete to stick together. Second are two concrete slabs. I believe they're part of the ramp for transitions. And then I went ahead and took out all the boxes just to make sure it looks all organized for the rest of the unboxing. The first one I went with was the smallest one. And again, more secure packaging, you know, many materials, very professional, making sure nothing breaks so that you don't have to do any returns or, you know, be disappointed with the product. And it's wrapped in plastic, but the first thing we have is their ledge with a little bit of a curve. Really interesting. I don't remember seeing this on the site, but I was excited to see that. Second was a quarter pipe, which is, I believe, the first half of the half pipe wrapped as well. Third is the other half of the half pipe, another quarter pipe, also wrapped. And last we had, which is what I was waiting for the most, which is their concrete curved ledge. Really solid, really happy with how this came out. Everything was wrapped pretty tight, so I had to, you know, unwrap it to do a proper unboxing of it. Pretty much airtight, very professional. Again, check out minimaterials.com. I'll put the link in the bio as well as their Instagram. So let's get into it. First, we have two concrete fingerboard quarter pipes measuring out to be three inches wide, four inches deep, and three inches tall. Next, we have two concrete slab connectors, which is three inches long, two inches wide, and about half an inch thick. Next, we have the concrete ledge, which is about five inches long, one inches on the side, 1.5 inches tall, and the ramp measuring out to be one inches, I believe, width-wise. Then we have uh, the concrete curved ledge, which measures to be five inches long and five inches wide with 1.5 inches of height. Last we have is the mortar, which again comes with this fingerboard you know, park, you would need it in order to get them to stick together properly and it comes pre-mixed so that's really convenient so you can save some time. So let's see how many combos we can make with all of these ramps. Today, the fingerboard I'll be using to test all of this stuff is my famous deck, one of my favorite, one of my mains. You can check that out on my Instagram. I did post a layout of it, and you can go ahead and give it a like and also check out their Instagram as well. So these ramps are quite small, but not too small. They're actually like the perfect size for, you know, a DIY park. Kind of reminds me of some Instagrams I've seen where people in quarantine have somehow made their backyard into like a mini skate park. Um, I don't think I'll be using the mortar just because I do like switching up my ramps a lot just to, you know, extend my creativity as much as I can. You can make some spines, some transfers. I'm really enjoying these quarter pipes. Again, 
again, you know, I'm trying to use as many parts as possible. It's really pretty cool. I think once you add the mortar, a lot of the writing of the connections would be really smooth, but because I don't use the mortar, it's kind of a little bit, you know, not leveled, which is fine. And if you notice right now, I'm kind of messing up on some of my tricks. That's because it's kind of hard to grind on concrete, so you want to use wax. The wax I use is from Crete Fingerboarding, but you can use any wax, honestly. You can use skate wax, fingerboard wax, or even candle wax. I use candle wax for a good amount of time before I actually got this wax. And it helps grind a lot better when you're on concrete. Yeah guys, overall, you know, I have six whole pieces as well as this mortar that you should definitely use if you want to connect these properly. Um, I'm a fan of it. I can use it for my bricks as well as these concrete slabs and parts and it comes with sticks as well so you don't have to use your fingers. My favorite out of all of these would probably be the curved ledge. I love this thing so much. Um, I just love the shape, I love the size and everything but overall really great. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time. Peace.